Okay, so I'm going to show you how to bind up the um, ElectroStim controller, which is a remote control um, stimulation system. So I'm going to show you how to um, how to bind the receiver and transmitter so that they uh, communicate. Okay. So here we have a transmitter and receiver. Uh, this one is the receiver. This is the transmitter. Um, if you switch, switch them both on, okay, you'll see they're both operating. However, if I press any of the controls on the transmitter, you'll see the red light will flash on the receiver. This means they are on the same frequency, so this is important to identify that the receiver is picking up the frequency, but it doesn't understand the commands. So what we're going to do, we're going to to show you how to do it. It is in the documentation, but it's quite, can be quite confusing. So this is the way to do it. So I'm just gonna switch them off again and uh, we'll get started. So we need to access the battery compartment on the receiver. Um, and in the battery compartment, you'll see there is a little switch, a little press switch, um, a tactile button in the back of the uh, battery compartment. So the easiest thing is just to get your finger hovering over that. Don't press it yet. Just get your finger hovering over it so we're ready to press it when we need to. Um, so just to get started, we're gonna, we'll switch both units on. Okay, we'll switch the receiver on. we we'll switch the transmitter on. The first thing you need to do with the transmitter is just press the intensity increase button Press that for three or four transmissions, just to get that light climbing a little bit. That will be fine because we need to press the down button, so we need to make sure we've got that um, not down at the lowest setting, so that will be fine. A bit brighter there, we can see it. So There's three settings on each one, so it gets brighter every time you push it. Okay, so to get started, what we need to do, there are three codes that we need to transmit. Um, by pressing different buttons on the transmitter, we transmit the codes to the receiver and by pressing the button that we've got our finger on um, in the battery compartment of the receiver, um, we control how those signals are, are picked up and requested. So the first thing we do, we ask for the first code. Um, so we press the button in the battery compartment once and we should get one flash come back on this red LED to tell us it's ready for the first code um, and then we send it twice. So I'll just talk you through that. So press the button once, it flashes once. We press the down button once, it, the light comes on. We press it again, it flashes to confirm it's received the first code. So to get the second code, we have to press the button twice in the battery compartment. Once you get one flash, twice you get two flashes then we send the second code by pressing the intensity plus button it receives it by putting the light on confirm it it flashes so it's got the second code so now we repeat the cycle for the third code once twice three it now wants the third code, which we do by pressing the boost button. Once, twice. Okay, so that's all three codes sent. Um, and quite often, you need to resend the first code just to make sure that it's 100% it's bound. So we're just going to repeat the first code again. Flashes once. We use the down button again confirm it. So now when we use the transmitter we should get some beeping and, and a full communication link. So that's working. So you get different tones and when you turn the transmitter off the receiver should turn off. So that's the way it's fully bound 
can turn them both on now, so they both start from zero, and we get a high pitch beat for intensity increase, a low pitch for decrease, you get a double beat for changing pattern, and you should see the yellow lights will be doing the same thing. They'll be slightly out of sync, but the, the pattern they're doing will be the same. So this will work to up to 200 feet. Um, you can pull the antenna out um, in the back here. You will see, if you lift the foam out, there's the antenna. If you put the antenna through the hole, there's a hole you'll see in the bottom there. You can poke the antenna through the hole and that will give you the full 200 feet range. So that's it. That's how to fully bind a receiver and a transmitter on the EM48 Electrostim controller.